What is happening, everybody? Yes, I am back. Yes, my office is still a disaster. Got other stuff to do. Can't focus on this right now. Been busy times. Busy times. But today, we're talking about something kind of fun. You know, you always joke with your buddies and it's like, would you rather or this or that or, you know, all kinds of silly games. And then you go pick five or something for the rest of your life. Whatever. That's what we're doing. I'm going to pick five baits. That if someone was holding a gun to my head and told me, you got to pick five baits. You can only fish these the rest of your life. These are them. There's a gun to my head. So let's get to it. So, I'm going to pick and show you guys five baits. Five. Five baits that I would pick if I could only fish these ones for the rest of my life. And I'm not talking bait specific, like if you're talking about a crankbait, you're talking like, uh, I guess I could only fish a square bill and I'd only fish a KVD 2.5. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like if square bill was their own category. Like you'd only fish a square bill. And then maybe your second one would be like, I'd only fish spinner baits. That's what I'm saying. I'm not talking specific baits. Let's let's not get crazy, okay? This is this is this is fishing we're talking about. I gotta have some kind of variety. Now, where do we start? Comment right now, right now, if you think what you think my number one pick is that I would throw the rest of my life in this five category. Comment right now. What is my number one going to be? A hundred percent, my number one is going to be a drop shot. This is a drop shot bait. This happens to be the money shot from Inland Baits. In, you know, the signature color. Ditch Panda. Color, Panda Juice. This is the money shot. It's awesome. It's a great drop shot bait. Now, I'm not saying I would only fish this one, but I would fish a drop shot. That is like my go-to confidence bait. It's the thing that I have the most confidence in in the world. Um, when I go fishing, it's never not on the deck. Usually it's in my hand. <laughs> but we always keep the drop shot handy because at any given time when I feel like I'm a failure and I don't want to angle anymore. Is that, is that a thing people say? I don't want to fish anymore. People want to sound like prestigious they say angle hmm. well, I don't want to fish anymore I just grab a drop shot and then I catch like a hundred dinks and then I'm good to go you know I mean that's basically how my fishing life goes <laughs> everything's fine but yeah the drop shot's awesome you can use it when they're going crazy you can use it when they're really slow and cold or when they're deep and post-spawn and freaked out or when they're pre-spawn and feeding you can literally use it any time of the year it's awesome like if you can only fish one thing like that would be it I think one thing. I'm doing five. My second. This is it. I think this is my favorite moving bait of all time. Like, this would be hard. This would be a close second to the drop drop if I had to pick one. Because this is my favorite reaction bait to fish. The lipless crankbait. This happens to be a Spro Aruka Shad. That's in like the ghost shad color. Don't really know. I think it's ghost shad ghost maybe i love lipless crankbaits they are like my i think it's my favorite way to fish i think i have the most confidence in the drop shot but lipless crankbaits are my favorite way to, sh to fish if you guys have been following for a while or if you haven't go back and watch we can put a link boom right up here uh to a video where me and paul fished in california and just destroyed them for like three days straight on lipless crankbaits i think we caught like in those three days i think we caught like over 200 fish it was amazing i mean just cast after cast and we weren't even there for very long because it was 100 billion degrees outside so Spro Ruka Shad, Lipless Crankbait. I don't even care which one it is. Honestly, Spro Ruka Shad, my favorite. You know, everybody loves the Red Eye Shad. I don't know why they call them Red Eye Shad. Because when you cast them three times, the red eye pops out and it's just be called Shad. They're great. They're all freaking awesome. Fish them. I love it. Okay, moving on. Let's go 
to something that also works all year round depending on condition. Depending, regardless of conditions. The jig. And honestly, I could fish this one. I could fish this weight, this head, this color. Uh, I wouldn't even get crazy with like, oh, but I'd also get a finesse jig and I'd also have 15,000 different types of heads on it because that's how many jig heads there are nowadays. My go-to jig for anything, really, really anything. You guys have heard me say this before. I love the Arky head. Arky head jig, half ounce, no BS. This is peanut butter and jelly. This is amazing. I love this color. I like um, the... Uh, what the hell, what do they call it? What the hell they call the other one? Paul's favorite color. Paul, you can put that up right here. I forget. That's a good color too. It's like it's basically the same as peanut butter and jelly, except it's got a little bit more green pumpkin. That's a great color too. These are actually I don't have a brand for you guys on these. These are actually hand tied by a chick up in Kentucky, and I get them online at her store. I'm not gonna tell you which one it is because I don't want you guys to go buy them and I won't be able to get them. She'll like not want to make them anymore. Just kidding. If I knew what places, I'll tell you. Maybe I'll put it in the description. That's what I'll do. I will put her website in the description. That way you can get it. She does amazing. They're all hand tied. I don't know if you guys can see this. They're all wire hand, <clears throat> wire tied, which I only do wire tied stuff now. The paint on the jig heads is super durable. It's a great hook. It's a must add hook. She uses a little bit lighter wire, uh, even for these half ounces, which I like, just so you're not having a huge, you know, big ESPN da -da -da, da -da -da, hook sets and blowing the fish's mouth open, especially with football jigs, but with any jig really. So you don't really have to do that because you don't got to get a big old hook through them. This is a nice light wire hook. You can almost, like if you're using the right rod, you can almost reel set these. It's awesome. Jig, 100% of jig is going with me on my top five list. It's perfect. Now, two more. Let's go through these. I'm going to go down to... I regret putting this on my list. 10 years ago, I might have slapped myself for this, but it's truly just, it is. It is what it is, and it's there for a reason. And that's the old uh, Cinco. This technically isn't a Cinco because it's not made by Gary Yamamoto. It's made by someone, in my opinion, much cooler. Brent at Inland Bates, <laughs> shout out. Panda Juice again, you see that Panda Juice? Panda Juice, that's the color, it's the best color. Go buy it, it's awesome. But yeah, I mean, a, a stick bait, man. I mean, you can't go wrong with like a five inch stick bait. I mean, it's perfect. These are five and a quarter. These aren't even open yet. I didn't even open these, I'm not gonna open them. You guys can see. They're green pumpkin, they're not green pumpkin. They're like green and black, a little bit of lime green flake. I say black, they're like a really dark green. It's amazing, it's a great color. It's natural enough that it looks fine in clear water. It's dark enough they can be seen in, you know, dirty water or low light conditions. Uh, this color is great. Uh, something we put a little, some work into. Getting a color that would be, you know, really good for both. Anyways, that's beside the point. This is not a commercial. I'm just trying to tell you that I like stick baits um, because basically I want to skip socks with a wacky worm on like medium light tackle and just have a blast fishing docks with this thing. There's also a video of me and Paul on the same lake, a different fishing trip, maybe the same one, two different ones of us just smashing them on Cinco's stick baits, whatever you want to call it. I can't get away from it. I mean, if I had to pick which way I would rigged it, I would rig this thing wacky, and that's how I'd go about it because I love fishing them that way. I'll fish a wacky worm in 30 feet of water. I don't even care. That's the kind of patience I have. I'm just kidding. I don't have any patience at all. Last but not least, numero five, Cinco, for all of my Spanish brethren out there. I think you guys know what's coming. The hollow body frog. What? I mean, especially pawn, uh, like landlubbers. That's stupid. People that don't got a boat or don't have access to a boat or don't have, you know, maybe their boat broke down. In the summertime, when you guys are gonna go pond fishing, you know, or fishing from the shore, you guys get stuck with like a bunch of pond goop that's just really gross. And you literally can't cast anything else out there except a frog. Therefore, it has to be in your repertoire. So I would absolutely have a frog. We all know like top water is everyone's favorite thing. Frogs are everyone's favorite top water. Yeah, that sounded pretty good. The hollow body frog, who doesn't love walking a hollow body frog over lily pads or matted grass or pond scum, just yuck and just getting freaking pounded. 
I mean, just raged through the freaking cover. It's awesome. They go airborne, like that freaking shark down there in South Africa. Just, it's awesome. Who doesn't love it? I love it. And you get those big, you know, you can do the ESPN hook sets on these, you know, you roll down and freaking da -da -da, slap it, hammer them. They're dinks. They come flying at you at about a buck fifty. Find the other side of the boat. That's terrible. It's not good. And then when you, when it comes up, especially like, especially through like matted grass or lily pads, not so much pond scum because they tend to come out like a torpedo at pond scum because they feel like they have to break through the surface. But when you get in like that little more sparse cover and like you just see that like suction open up and disappear your frog, you just give him the lumber. You know, really just give on to him. And like, he doesn't move hardly. Almost like flipping, like, like, um, like punching. Oh God, with the frog, it's so good. And like, I love to see people fish the frog that don't have like the experience doing it. And then like, they go too fast. I love, I just love the frog. I love everything about the frog. I mean, it's the best. I think it's the best bass loop. <laughs> to be like the one I have forever because it's kind of like a really seasonal deal, but it's definitely my favorite. Like it definitely, oh, it's a favorite because I said Lipples are my favorite. But it's like, it's definitely the most fun. If this frog bites on, I'm a happy camper. Paul too, he freaking loves it. Frog's great. Gotta have that. Now, that's it. Those are my five. Drop shot, lipless crankbait, jig, Senko style bait, stick bait, and a frog. I think those are the five. I think those are the five they can get me five fish for the win in any tournament. Yeah, I said it. Watch this. You see this guy? Watch. And he pulls his pants down. <laughs> he pees. Did you guys see that? Watch. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm 12 years old. I don't know what to tell you, man. Inland baits, guys. Go check them out. You guys want some good soft plastics? Um, I mean, they're, they're great. These things are durable. They're super soft. They have amazing action. They're affordable. You can get any freaking color you want. He'll pour custom colors for you. Go check him out, inlandbaits.com. Hit him up on uh, Instagram. Get his DMs if you want to get a custom color. Um, go check out our color, Panda Juice. It's brand new. It's awesome. We love it. Been catching good fish on it. Uh, down here at Chickamauga, been catching fish on it from shore, being a land lover. Great. Awesome color, awesome baits. He's got everything. They got the stick baits. They got the thin ones, the long ones, the big ones, the short ones, the money shots. The disco chicken. If you don't know what that is, you need to go check it out because it's amazing too. <laughs> I just love casting something called the disco chicken. So use our code DP20, 20% 20 off at checkout, inlandbaits.com. Go get at them. Also, if you haven't done so already, I don't know why you haven't, you would subscribe to our channel, comment, leave a like on the video, do fun stuff. Let us know what you think about my top five. Tell me what your top five would be. If your top five doesn't resemble any of my top five, I think it's the wrong top five, just so you know. Paul's gonna say like a jerk bait. And like a, I don't know, some other stupid stuff. I'm just kidding. Not really. Five different jerk baits. That would be Paul. And then maybe like a square bill and a drop shot. That's it. I bet you I could guess his. I'm not going to. Yes, I am. I bet it'd be a jerk bait, a square bill. No, jerk bait, drop shot, frog, chatter bait, and a square bill. Those are just five. Yeah, tell me if I'm right. We'll see. Paul, leave a comment down below. He'll tell you, but I'm right, and I know it. Guys, I can't wait to talk to you again. We'll see you next time.